Hello everybody, this is Brandon from Brand Tech, and today I have a good tutorial for you teaching you how to clone a hard drive. Now, why would you want to clone a hard drive? Well, one, you want to back up every single thing on the hard drive and you don't want to do it manually. You just want to simply take all the contents on one and put on another. Or two, you're upgrading a hard drive from a smaller one to a larger one and would like to copy everything, including making it actually able to boot Windows as normal backup software will not let you do that normally. Now, there's going to be a couple things that you need. First, we're going to be using the Reflex software by Macrium. This is their page here. It's really easy to use. I like it a lot. All you need to do is go to HTTPS www.macrium.com slash reflect free. The link will be in the description. You want to click on home use that will download an executable installer. You run that and it will install itself and it'll be ready to go. So you want to do that before we continue on with the tutorial. You also are going to need a way to connect your hard drive to the computer. Now, if you're on a desktop and you have extra connections for hard drives, it makes it really easy. Just use those. However, if you're on a laptop or you don't want to go through that hassle, you may want to buy something like this, which is a hard drive to USB 3 dock. It'll hold any kind of hard drive and it's fairly cheap. You can use it for a whole bunch of stuff. You can even make a normal backup drive out of it. So it's a really versatile product. There will be a link to this in the description down below, and that will be an affiliate link and will help me out if you decide to purchase it using my link. Now, once you have actually installed the software, you will open it up. You want to hit yes, that it can make changes to your device in order for it to actually move uh, data around, which is useful. And you'll be greeted with this screen and there's a lot of stuff on it, but it's fairly intuitive. First is all the different hard drives on your computer. So disk one, disk two, disk three. These happen to correspond to the hard drives I have here. So the C, D, and E drives. So I'm leaving the C drive untouched However, I'm going to be copying the contents of the D drive to the E drive, just to show you how. So the first thing you want to do is find the drive you want to copy from. That's called your source drive. That happens to be this one. And I know that because it's the one that actually has space filled and its capacity of 297 gigabytes here matches its capacity of 297 here. And this is the clean one because it has almost nothing on it. Now, if you wanted to copy a bootable Windows partition, you also would can just use the whatever one is Windows and you clone it in the exact same process. I'm not going to be doing that now because this hard drive is a lot smaller than my terabyte one that I have now. If you are going to be cloning your Windows partition, however, you're going to be cloning your main drive. You do want to go up here and hit restore or wait, where was it? The other tasks, sorry. Uh, and hit create rescue media. This will guide you through plugging a USB drive into your computer and creating a recovery USB in case something goes wrong and your data is weird. It will fix it 99% of the time. I've never run into an issue and I've rarely ever actually gotten to the point where I had to create rescue media. So it's generally okay. So you want to find the disk that you want to clone, which happens to be this one. I want to hit clone this disk. All right, this is the most important part because it's the only place you can really screw up. So here's the source disk. It's disk one. It has 298 gigabytes total. 298, 100 gigabytes have been used out of the 298 gigs. And this is the D drive like we saw here. Now you want to select a disk to clone to. This is important. You don't want to pick the wrong one. So I'm going to pick this one, which is my E drive. And I know that because it says new volume E and that matches up here. You want to double and triple check this stuff because you don't want to have it be messed up because that would not be useful for your files. So you want to hit advanced options as well. You want to check something. Make sure that your settings are exactly like mine. You want the intelligent sector copy, which means it's not going to copy anything it doesn't need to. So all your files will be on the new one, but this keeps all the junk files that aren't actually being used and are just taking up space. Verify file system will make sure everything that it copies is used and it doesn't copy any junk and ssd trim is just useful to keep on it will extend the life of an ssd if you're copying to it so you want to make sure your settings are like this hit okay 
And then once again, just triple check that this is the drive you want to copy to and this is the drive you want to copy from. If so, hit next. It's going to ask you to do a schedule of the clone. And this is if you're actually setting up a backup drive that's going to back it up every week, day, however long you want. You can add a schedule here or change schedules, whatever you have. I'm not going to do that right now. So I'm just going to hit next. It's going to give you a summary. So it's going to clone this partition. And then you want to hit finish. And once you hit finish, it's going to pop up this new window where you can ask it to run the backup now and save the backup and schedules as a XML backup definition file. Now, that means that it will save as a file that you can double click to run the backup at any time. I only am going to do this backup once, so I'm not going to do that right now. However, if you want to be able to just double click and have a backup, please, by all means, save the file wherever you want, double click it, it'll be all good. So hit OK for run this backup now, and it's going to warn you again, even it wants to triple check that this is the volume you want to write to. So hit continue if everything makes sense. It's going to give you a little notification that it is cloning it. And in a second, the clone will start. So this will take a while depending on the kind of drive you're using. However, once it's done, you will have a perfectly cloned drive. If you're using a bootable drive and when you switch the drive and it's not booting, just use the USB recovery and it will fix it almost 100% of the time. I wouldn't let any worry about it. I've never had an issue. And there you go. So now my drive is cloning to a new hard drive. So if this video taught you how to clone a hard drive and you learned something, like the video. If it was not useful in the slightest and you didn't like it, please dislike it so I know. Also leave some constructive criticism down in the comments just so I can know about it. And if you have any other tutorials you'd like to see or anything else related to technology you'd like me to talk about or explain, please let me know and I'd be more than happy to. Thank you and have a good rest of the day.